So Rudy has finally addressed MetaZoo. He's deleted all other videos positive about MetaZoo a while ago. Has not addressed it at all. Opened a product for a long time, probably maybe four or five months. And MetaZoo is a disaster. It is a investment in TCGs that will probably teach people not to invest in TCGs. So as long as you didn't invest in TCGs, you got a very, very obvious warning not to do it. We got to come back. You know, the other channel is blowing up. We're doing a lot of fun stuff on the other channel. The numbers are the numbers, right? You can't really even complain. Um, things are really, really good there. But MetaZoo. Okay, so I got sent this video. 40, whoa, 48 minutes video about MetaZoo. Well, instantly, I need to give him more credit than Graham, Graham Stefan, or Argos Anonymous, or others who vanish and dodge the topic permanently like cowards. At least he's finally addressing it. Curious if he points the finger at Mike or what, what in this? Usually, that's what happens, finger pointing. Like Logan Shine blaming Steve Hart when the Pokemon case happened. Whenever there's a scam, which this was, that's what happened. He admits at 9.30, 9.45 that he deleted almost all previous MetaZoo videos out of embarrassment. So I, I'm just watching clips. Laugh out loud. I'm watching this shit and making a video. Look, man, just when they, just when you say the channel, hey, you know, I got a newborn. The newborn channel is doing really well, by the way. We are at 17,500 subscribers on that channel, but it used to be a dog channel. Now it's a newborn and dog channel. So we have free channels, two of them doing really, really well number wise. And this channel is just like a shitter channel. <laughs> but MetaZoo is back on the topic, and you guys know I love MetaZoo. So yeah, apparently he, uh, admits that he deleted all those videos out of embarrassment. Uh, could it have anything to do with liability? I think it do does. It does. Like if you are a new investor on TCG card games, obviously you're on YouTube and you research investment, you know, in card games, you're going to find, you're going to find him. Uh, now he will say that, oh, I am not the face of this game. Which is ridiculous, right? I mean, he's literally opening packs worth that he made with his family and showing it to you. Like, how can he not be the face of this card game? And he's like, oh, these promos will have a lot of value. I'm not going to sell. I've been in talks with the Chinese printer, and I told him, hey, this is how you're going to make money. You're going to just print these Rudy promos for me. And they're down for it, man. They are down to print whatever because they, they are out money. I don't think people realize when you are out money, you want to get back to even. And maybe there are ways that you can get back to even. But the only way... Let, let me explain something to these MetaZoo people. The only thing I wanted... So when I was going to team up with Nick, and that was legitimate, that was real, that was not me faking it for Kyle or not... In fact, I didn't even talk about it that much. You know, that, that was Nick talking about it. And I, honestly, in hindsight, I wish that Nick didn't say I was a partner. And then, and then we, that way we could do it, uh, you know, because Nick was supposed to manage it. He was supposed to, I mean, he loves the brand more than anyone else right now. Uh, Nick Strength and Pokemon, shout out, great guy. Uh, gr good guy. Um, really just, uh, you know, he, he's, he's got to be involved in it somehow, I, I feel. It would be a massive mistake if they don't bring him in, at least as a consultant or as, you know, uh, a spokesperson. So, uh, what was it called? Like a key representative. Whatever Alpha Investment was to MetaZoo previously, Nick should be because he actually enjoys the game. He lives and bleeds the game. But anyway, that's not neither here nor there. Um, I just wanted the Alpha Investment cards. Nick knows this. Nick can tell you this. Nick can tell you this a million. I wanted Hello Kitty and Alpha Investment cards. That's it. And I didn't want to make more inventory. I didn't. The IP was supposed to be addressed later. And that's really, you know, Nick was going to probably address that. Like, I just wanted the Alpha Investment cards as a meme. As a $50,000 meme. The Hello Kitty would go to my daughter and my significant other. 
and she would have a blast with the Hello Kitty stuff. She loves Hello Kitty. In fact, we went to McDonald's the other day to get Happy Meals so we could get the Hello Kitty slash Yu-Gi-Oh collab. Anytime there's a Hello Kitty collab, you know we are on top of it. The be it five below, the mall, and 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 we have we have a kid, we have a kid, so it's harder to do this. You might be like, oh, just going to McDonald's is really easy now. No, it, it's it's like, it's like ten times more difficult when you have a young newborn than when you don't. So uh, basically, back to uh, my statements about this. I I do agree. I give him credit. Argos Anonymous will never make a video like this. He'll never return. We will never see him again. And he was one of the major positivity factors. I think for Rudy, and maybe we will go a live stream because I think I want to address this. I, I, I was so, either like I make a hundred videos about this being like eight minute videos, or we just do one live stream where I just crank it down and, and tell you exactly how I feel. Because it's hard to imagine like, so he says, oh, I didn't have control of the company. Then don't put your mother effing face on the company. Okay, like, is, is it that? So, like, it's kind of like Mr. Beast and Beast Burgers. Oh, I didn't have control over Beast Burgers. Yes, then don't advertise or put your face on the Beast Burgers. Don't let them take your low. When they take your face, your likeness, your card, your name, right? And they plaster it all over it as a marketing ploy. And then they get you to sell it, the product. I don't know how you can say you don't have control when you know I'm an IP attorney. Your control is over your own IP. If you value Alpha Investments as a brand, which you should, because it's a very valuable brand, then you don't let them take it for a few hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars and whatever, right? Because eventually, long short term, you will make a lot of money, just like Mr. Beast, right? Mr. Beast made a lot of money from Beast Burgers. Then the Beast Burgers had they were raw chicken it was gross shit man it was gross shit um and then he now he's being sued for a hundred million dollars for the things that he said about beast burgers he didn't have control this is the exact scenario influencers find themselves in all the time they do not value their own ip they don't want to build a burger company they don't want to build a card game right they'll, they'll build a grading card game a grading company later but they don't want to do that because it's too much work. They would rather have the easy money, but the easy money is not easy money. They they plastered this dude. They Rudy. I know you watch these videos because you tell me you watch these videos because you see pictures of yourself. They plastered your face on so many play mats that are now selling on eBay for a dollar plus shipping. They plastered your face on so many promos that got graded from PSA that aren't even worth the price of getting them graded. Okay, that's that's not good. That's not a good sign. They're junk slabs, right? They're junk slabs. Why would you let somebody do that to you? Why would you let somebody do that to you? Money. He got paid. He got paid. So I don't believe Rudy lost a dime in this deal. I believe he made a few million. You know, prove me wrong, Rudy. Prove me wrong. 